What's up, sneaker fam? It's your boy McFly, the hardest working man to shoot. Tame man today. Coming at you again with another real review, man. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment if you would be so kind. Like all that good stuff, man. Y'all know what y'all always do for everybody. Else. Do it for me too. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm out here working harder than all of them, man. Also, subscribe to E-Money Shoes and 313 Retro Queen and the Who Has the Heat Sneaker Battle channel all the links will be in the description below feel free to go check that out me personally i'm currently on the road to 5k trying to get that done by the end of the year we're about 30 away from 4,000, man so if everybody sub that come through watch this video man we can go ahead and get past four maybe even touch five uh potentially doing a 5k giveaway so uh stay tuned you know but today man we got a shoe shout out to the fine folks at sneakers shout out to trophy room shout out to marcus jordan michael jordan the dream team everybody that participated and all that good stuff man that's what the shoe was about it is a uh, collaboration with michael jordan trophy room hence the name trophy room seven new sheriff in town uh, about the greatest practice that will never be aired man a lot of nba legends and people that were on the team have told the story of what happened in that uh closed off practice I personally feel that Magic Johnson told the story the best, but I'm not going to get into the story. Y'all can uh, hit YouTube or wherever, man. I mean, there's plenty of people that have actually um, told the story. But like I said, Michael, Mike, Michael, Magic Johnson's version was <clears throat> the best version, in my opinion. Um, Y'all know Trophy Room does not spare any detail on their boxes. This box is fire, but I don't spend a lot of time on boxes anymore. But if y'all want to start seeing the boxes, let me know. You know, I can always go back to it. But it came with some accessories. Um, two pair of laces. Red pair, white pair with gold tips on both. You also got a um, card that has a clipboard on the back. You see the basketball court. And you flip this little page up. And it's got the numbers of the players who were on what team that day in that practice. You also flip it around. It breaks down the whole story of that practice. If you guys want to take time and read that tiny writing, maybe screenshot it, zoom in on it or whatever. But there you go. The accessories that came with it. Not sure what laces I'm actually put in these, but to get into the actual review of the shoe, man, we've got a all suede upper on this joint. You've got your uh, sail cream colored. Um, it's like a beige color um, overlay. And then you have your red underlays on this joint. It's a low hair suede, but it is a suede. You can see it. Michael Jordan's signature right there on the heel. Uh, just since it was, <laughs> just because it was in the shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean? Then as you can see the suede on that. Up top, across. I didn't really know how to feel about the shoe at first, but I knew the whole time that I would try for it. So I put in sneakers, actually blessed me with a pair. I couldn't believe it because y'all know Michael, um, Marcus Jordan's history with, sneakers and all that trophy room one yeah i know what i'm talking about um you've also got a gold medallion here on the side suede as well underneath what i one part that i really like about the shoe is these gold lace holes i thought that was really a nice touch you rarely ever get some attention to detail on the actual lace holes so that was i'm not gonna say it was a big deal but it was a very nice um nice touch to the shoe y'all know really with sevens the star of the show is the midsole and the outsole but we'll get to that in a second <clears throat> we got some little phrase here across this toe cap i'm not really happy about that but beggars can't be choosers you know but i was a little disappointed in the little phrase here around the toe and you have your actual toe got a little ripple right here but i won't complain about that shoe comes with blue laces in it you see navy blue lace the olympic theme red white and blue y'all already know this is a like a your typical um jordan 7 tongue it's like a mesh satinish kind of feel then you have the jordan air up here across the actual top of the tongue front is blue the back is actually black um lateral side matches the medial side to the t um you just don't have that Jumpman logo over here on the other side. Another dope, dope um, part of the shoe is the actual heel. You got that medallion resembling a gold medal with the number nine Jordan in there. Y'all know Jordan's number was number nine. And then you have the little pull tab here in the back representing the Olympic rings. So 
uh, um, added attention to detail on that. Pull out your uh, little shoe tree back there. You see you got the gold lace tips on your navy blue lace as well. Then back here behind the tongue, you got new sheriff in town tag on that just for all you verifiers y'all know if i can show the tag i will interior is how your traditional jordan 7 um tongue would look they put that on the inside and then you have that trophy room uh jordan man logo stitched in actually on the uh insole of the shoe nice detailing on that you put these laces back in you don't in that lace you don't, you don't in there also, you have a tag here on the inside that has a date that is June 22nd, 1992. Your boy was a baby, man. Well, I wasn't a baby, but I was seven years old when all this popped off. Then for your midsole, you've got the blue hit with the gold and the red back and front portion with that sail in between. Flip it around that outsole. Woo! Definitely not disappointing on that. Hottest part of the Jordan 7, man. The outsole. Y'all see the red, white, and blue with the gold head off the chain. Uh, yeah. So let me know how you guys feel about these in the comments, man. Did you cop these? I personally thought all of these would get backdoored like the um, Trophy Room ones did. But apparently, people got pairs. I know people that got a couple of pairs. So Now, this other shoe is clean. I couldn't find a flaw on it. How that toe cap is supposed to look, y'all see it? No arrows, nothing there. Side. Definitely a good quality sneaker. They did not miss a beat with quality on these. I don't know if there's anything different on the inside. Yes, there is. I'm glad I checked. Uh, the back of this one also says a new sheriff in town with the size logo but you've got the trophy room branding on this patch on the inside it's the trophy room logo and not the jump that logo that's really the only difference everything else is exactly the same on the shoes man fire shoe i mean I, I like it honestly i didn't know how i was gonna feel about it and lately i felt that way about a lot of shoes man so i just try to get shoes and when i get it i make the decision um as to what i'm gonna do with it when i actually get the pair in hand so bam boom bam there it is man the trophy room seven live and direct full retail pair no food gazes no none of that over here we keep it one foul wow all the time uh for all my size and people these run true to size whatever your normal size is by that do not go up do not go down in jordan seven stay where you're at you will be there i feel like the sevens are kind of like Nappy head of stepchild loves Jordans, man. A lot of people don't like sevens. I'm personally not a huge fan of sevens, even though I have um, several pairs. How many pairs of sevens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six or seven pairs. I know I sold two this year, but either way, I got around seven pairs of sevens. How ironic. <laughs> How ironic is that? But true to size on your size and comfort. I mean, they're pretty comfortable shoes. They're not uncomfortable by any means. Um, similar to a six, you know, it's, it's about the same in the regard to uh, comfort and whatnot. So I'll probably give them a B comfort. Definitely good for all day wear. You can do whatever you want to do in the Jordan 7 and not have any problems um, whatsoever. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. The shoe is fire. We definitely gonna throw some laces in it. I still don't know which lace I'm gonna do. I'll most likely end up probably doing red and white. I don't really like that blue lace, so let me know. What would you guys do with lacing? How, how you feel about that? Would you do something different with the laces? Would you leave the blues in? Um, Let me know, man. Appreciate you guys watching the review, coming through, all that good stuff, supporting the channel, man. It's always appreciated. And until next time, it's your boy, Mac Fly, the Trophy Room Sims. I'll catch you on the next one.